I just noticed that I'm completely out of coffee. I don't know how I'm going to get through this exercise. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're you're digging this, by the way. Quick aside, I hope you're digging this. This is probably the, uh, yeah, this is the rawest tutorial I've ever done. It's, again, sort of that live off the floor recording, no editing at all. We're just kind of doing it. And I hope you kind of dig this vibe. I'm digging it. I feel like I'm sitting right beside you at your desk, at your computer, and we're walking through this together. I, I dig it. Let me know what you think if you if you kind of dig this format instead of the sort of the, the sleek, polished, you know, tutorials fully edited with dynamic graphics. Anyway, let's uh, let's throw in our properties. We got uh, menu, we got content, we got footer. So again, I think you're going to be uh, tickled at how easy and straightforward this is going to be. We're just going to throw in a couple of properties, few properties for each of our IV selectors, and boom, the entire layout just kind of comes together. The, the trick, of course, is knowing what properties to throw in. So here we go. I'm going to start off with the menu. And the menu, of course, is our static component inside the entire layout, right? So here we go. I'm going to float this guy. I'm not going to float him just anywhere. I'm going to float him on the left. And I'm going to set a width. If you are thinking that we should use a pixel value for his width, you are absolutely right. Uh, an extra 10 points there for you. Uh, let's throw a margin on this guy, a margin of zero. And I'm going to throw on some padding just for the heck of it. 1M. Why? Because I feel like it. There we go. Okay, so that's cool. Um, you know, let's go and check the, this guy inside the browser. Refresh. There's the menu there, this sort of this negative space there. That's the menu. If you want, you can throw in a background color for your menu, and you'll see exactly the dimensions of the menu. But you know what? I'm going to kind of put on the brakes just for a sec. What we just did with the menu is practically identical to the first example I showed you of floating all the way back at the beginning of our of our DVD or of our tutorial together. Remember we had the uh, the graphic, it was like a cartoon robot, droid.png, and I had a paragraph of text and I floated them to the left and then I floated them to the right. Same story. It's exactly the same process, right? So anyway, there we go. Let's head back into our code. Let's go after content now. So this is our our main content area. And what I'm going to do here, this is a little wacky, a little bizarre, but the entire layout hinges on this property, margin left, and I'm going to set a value of 200 pixels for this guy. Now, before I save and before I, you know, go and show you the browser here, the margin left is the space on the outside, right? So margin is on the outside, padding's on the inside, right? So margin left is going to be the left edge of the content div. And what I'm telling the div to do is move over to the right or have a gap of space on his left, if you will, of 200 pixels. Now, what you need to make sure of is the value that you use here is greater than the width of the menu. Does that make sense? So if my the width of my menu is 200 pixels, then I should set the margin left to maybe something like 205 or 210 or something like that. So all I'm doing is I'm taking this div and shoving him over to the right, pushing him past the edge of the, the right edge of the menu. Does that make sense? I hope that's working for you. We're just shoving stuff around here on screen. That's really what's happening here. So again, the entire layout, this is sort of the, the crux of the, of the whole shebang here. So, all right. Hopefully that's good there. Uh, let's see here. Let's throw on some padding of 1M. Again, you can use pixels or whatever you want. I'm using M's here for fun. Uh, and I'm going to throw a border on this guy, a border left. So I want to put a, a, a rule, a vertical rule or a vertical border between the content and the menu. Hence why uh, border hyphen left. And I'll stick with what we've been using, uh, one pixel solid and black just like that. If you want to save it up and have a quick look inside your browser, we now have this. So now all of the text, the text is no longer wrapping underneath the menu because we told that div to shove over to the right 200 pixels. And there's that vertical rule or that border hyphen left that we just threw in there. So hopefully that's all cool. All right. Whew. Uh, footer. Our footer. Okay, let's do the footer. Uh, clear both because we want him to wrap onto his own line, even though he's already sitting on his own line. We're going to make this bulletproof. 
Uh, let's do a little margin action. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do margin of nothing, zero, and a padding value of half an M. Very lovely. And you want to do a background color? Sure. What the heck? Let's do the same background color as the uh, as the header, the number sign CCC, uh, which is going to be that light gray. Don't forget your semicolon. And then let's do a border top. So border hyphen top, which uh, which is going to give us a, a horizontal line right across the top of the footer. And same as always, one pixel solid and black. Oops, not O's, zeros. <laughs> there we go. It's the coffee, man. Okay, back to your browser. Refresh. Boom. There we go. How do you like that? So, I hope you dig it. I hope you like it. Here is, once again, the moment of truth. When I scale my browser window, the menu, the width of the menu should remain fixed. The width of the content and the width of the header and the footer should scale. Here we go. Woo! Awesome. There it is. The menu remains fixed, just like on uh, Wikipedia there, but everything else scales, right? Now, you might be sitting there going, well, on Wikipedia, they had two columns, not one. Well, hey, throw in a second div in here if you want, you know, column one and, you know, column two over here somewhere and just shove, you know, column two, which would be over here on the right somewhere, shove him over to the right, just using that margin left uh, value that we used earlier, right? So there you go. Pretty cool stuff. I hope you like it. And again, it's not that bad in terms of the um, in terms of the properties, in terms of the code that we're actually um, using to put this guy together. At this point, you would want to, of course, head in here and start throwing in your own content, maybe your menu buttons, your actual real text that would show up here. Menu graphic, footer content, like the, you know, the nav links or a copyright notice or whatever. I want to show you one other thing here real quick. You know, maybe what I should do is um, I'll, I'll save it. I, I'll, I'll stop recording here and I'll, I'll show you this, this extra little bit in the next exercise. I don't want to overwhelm you too much. In the meantime, have fun scaling your browser window back and forth and watching your, your layout expand and collapse. <laughs>